Hello, my crafty friends. It's Trine, and we are about to play with some supplies from the Simon Says Stamp Valentine's Day kit. So, I'm making some really quick tags, and this video is going to show you what I'm doing. So, I'm using some paper from that kit and the stamp. So, first up, I am using the um, sentiment that says, you stolen a piece of my heart. And, of course, it didn't stamp out right. <laughs> So I had to go back over it and do it again, which is the beauty of a clear stamp because it allows you to do that. So I just went back in and stamped over it and then I'm going to heat emboss it with some clear recollections embossing powder and give it a little heat, little heat, heat, heat. And it's going to leave like an embossed finish, which is one of my favorite techniques when I'm making cards or tags. To me, it just gives it a little something, something, something. Um, and it adds to the texture and shine and, you know, pops it up. Because this is so simple, you know, I felt like it was needed. So after I did the, the little sentiment, all I had to do was grab those stickers and stick them on the tag. That easy. No coloring. Um, or anything involved just putting stickers on the tag how easy is that and that what makes this card so or this tag so quick now the cool thing about this is you could add it to um, a card base and you'll be done you'll have your little card so that is tag number one all right and for my second tag I'm going to soda make your heart pop get it <laughs> um, with this one I thought this one was so cute because it features one of my favorite drinks or what used to be my favorite drinks because i've pretty much stopped drinking coca colas now um but it features that sweet dixie champagne y'all <laughs> i heard that on a saturday night live skit and i like to die laughing but it uh features a soda and to me this little sticker just remind me of the best kind of coca cola and that's the kind that comes in the bottle so i used it and um that was pretty much it. Just pretty much sticking it on the on the tag. And then I added some of those little white hearts just to give it a little bit of embellishment. I added three. Whenever I add like um, hearts and stuff like that in sequence, I always do it in odd numbers. It's easier for me because sequence and stuff like this is what I struggle with. Um, so I always just do mine in like groups of threes or fives or something like that and let it be done with but three is usually the number i go with and as you can see that's what i went with here and that is it that's card number two on to card number three we are finally going to do some coloring just because i wanted to do um one of the bigger pizzas and the only way to get that was through the um through the stamp so I stamp out that pizza and then I stamp out my sentiment and I'm using the Versafine black on it that's what I use throughout this project I forgot to say that um and I use that and then I am of course <laughs> going to heat emboss it because that's what bosses do they heat emboss that was a lame joke but anyway um so I heat emboss it and then I am going to use my Z clean color brushes to add some color to my stamped images. So for my uh, pizza crust, I'm just going around the edge and these were really small images so I had to be careful and I just left a little bit of color and then I took a fine brush um, and would just it was damp with just a little bit of water and blended it out so it'll give it a little bit of dimension. For the pepperoni and the sauce, I didn't worry about that. I just straight colored it in with the red um zig marker and then for my cheese i am going around like the edges of the pepperoni because that's where it's normally darker because all the good old grease <laughs> and then i'm going to take a watercolor brush and just blend it out to give it a little bit of dimension for the cheese and that is like that's pretty much it um i really do like using my zigs when i'm trying to do something fast and uh, as you can see it works so i just went on ahead and cut that out fussy cut it and then i'm going to come and do almost the same thing for my sentiments i put that red that same red color on there then i added a little water to blend it out and all i'm gonna do is cut out the sentiments because i want them to be um like two different lines 
and I didn't want to cut my stamps or do anything like that so I figured I'd just stamp it out twice and from the first part I cut out the I love you and I did it that way so that I can have an equal amount of space at the beginning and at the end of the stamp if I would have just left it um, you know like it came and just cut it out it would have been a little off center so that's why I did it that way so after that just put glue on everything and stick it down I am using my sticker maker um and I love this little thing it is I got it for Christmas and it is the bee's knees um I love it so I use that to put my little pizza onto my tag and then all I do is stick my sentiments down and that is card number why do I keep saying card that is tag number three all right, and that is my project for today. Three simple, easy to make tags. And if you wanna see how I will be using these tags, then you gotta come back tomorrow because I'm gonna show you how I make this cute little pizza box and it wobbles. And uh, I think it's just so fun. And it's going to go in some happy mail. So be sure to come back tomorrow and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.